All right, go ahead. I'd like to show you the valve out, valve removal tool. The tool is bolt hole specific. You have to have the proper size bolt hole pin inserted, inserted for the tool to be effective. Grab the right size pin. This is a 7 8 inch bolt hole pin for this 3 inch 300 series flange. Once you have the pin inserted, tighten your Allen screw down until it's snug. The plates split apart so you can compensate for the distance between your bolt holes. Each tool comes with 5 inches of jack bolt. And you also get 11 and a half inches of spacer bar material per side so you can attack the valve from both sides. You make up the spacer bars depending on the width of the valve, meter, or spool, whatever you're wanting to remove. This particular spool piece is compressed between these outside flanges and typically you would take a come along here and a come along on the other side and pull the flanges back and allowing you to lift it out of service. But with this tool, you insert the bolt hole pins on the spreading plates inside the flange. You've made up your spacer bars for the correct width of the valve that you want to remove. Hold the spreading plates in place while tightening down on the jack bolt. When you begin tightening the jack bolt, the plates cantilever back and they bind the bolt hole pins inside the bolt holes. You're going to want to make sure that your spool piece has been secured either with a cable. In this particular case, I've got these two bolts to secure. Now you can just lift the valve out of service and drop another one back in its place.